Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Direwolf 20's 1.16 pack, where today we're getting a lot more ore, and we're going to have to deal with that ore. <laughs> Alright, just doing a little bit of sorting. Uh, had to redirect uh, the uranium crystals into this chest because I kept coming back and there's about 50 uranium crystals that's on the ground. I think it just happens when he tries to send a crystal, but then he's gotten filled by stuff out of this chest, and so it just ends up on the ground. So, yeah. These guys all still seem to be working. Not bad. And obviously power is still going up, but you can't even tell because we hold so much. Now, in terms of other things we can do that are ridiculously large, in terms of storage, I think I've got enough stuff to make the biggest storage. Which I think was the 1634k, because this can't be used to make a bigger one. No. So 1634k, the only thing I had to do was teach the recipe for silicon. Um, because we need to craft 10,000 silicon, which is going to be crafted from Certus Quartz dust, which is going to be crafted from the bunch of Certus Quartz we've had building up that we're not doing anything with because we're not using applied energistics. So yeah, we have to craft 6,000 sand. I'll start this guy. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a very long time, and yeah, we've already got machines not accepting items because they're going to be waiting on uh, other stuff to get processed first. So we'll leave him to do that. That's going to be pretty slow. Uh, the village is still irradiated, and I think the colonists are actually taking damage. I did notice people not sleeping. Um, the health seems to be okay at the moment. Yeah, you can just hear he just took some damage. So I'm pretty sure that's from the radiation. Uh, worst case scenario, some colonists die and new children will be born to replace them. I don't know, we've already got somebody just floating around on their back. Yeah, you're not there. You're doing something else. And yeah. Ah, I still got the boat underwater. Colonists are still just running around doing some stuff. Yeah, we're probably going to end up with some colonists dying because of the radiation. But everything else seems to be going okay. Ah, oh, this guy's out of water. That's why we're backstuffing on polonium. I was supposed to sort that. Um, this might be a good time to sort the refined storage oh, fluid crafting. Because I haven't used it. Fluid storage. Fluid storage disk? I guess just a 64k fluid storage disk. Should be all we need. Ah, oh, we might have to wait a long time. Oh. We have some raiders attacking the village. Ah, oh, yes, they're all the way over there. So they have to swarm over. Hey man, that, that could actually burn my village. You should probably stop doing that. I think he's already set stuff on fire. No. <laughs> Too easy. And okay, stuff's not on fire. That's good. We've got an ancient tome. Hang on, I'll just cancel this craft. Because it's not going to actually, like, we're not going to lose anything doing that. So now we can now get the 64k fluid storage part. Which can be used to make a 64k fluid storage disk. Now. Oh, shift right clicking does that, that's not what I wanted. We should just be able to put this in a drive, right? I don't think there's anything. Oops, wrong thing. Anything special about it? And is there like a fluid importer? Oh, let's get our... Oh, no, we'll, we'll crap this stuff first. There's no fluid importer. Create a wireless fluid grid. I don't think we need that. We'll get a fluid grid. And this might be handy. Um, You're going to live, I guess, there. Kind of... Yeah, so we've got no fluid in here. But if we just had a regular importer. 
can we just hook this up to a sink? Is my question. Now we're also going to want to run some refined storage cable if we're going to do this. And will this import fluid? It looks like we're not holding any fluid yet. Okay, easy. You just need a fluid interface. So I've only, you don't really need to pipe it like this, but I was just doing it so I could make sure that it was working. Um, so yeah, just coming out of the sink, into this tank. I could just come out of this tank straight into this interface. I don't know that we can have the interface straight on the sink. I suspect we'll need a pipe. But this guy's full, which makes me think that we probably have a full fluid storage cell. We do, 64 buckets. Cool. And hopefully we can come over to our exporter on this pressurized reaction chamber. And if we find water in here, uh, how do we tell it to put water? Ha, so it's reading up. Apparently we can switch an importer to fluids, which doesn't solve my problem because I could do that. And now he would get if we accepted fluids from the top. Okay, so it counts water as a gas. So this would work. It's pretty slow. But unfortunately, we kind of need fluids and items. All right, we're just going to have to move this guy. I mean, you could just go on top of this dude, to be honest. A little bit messy and kind of defeats the purpose, but and then we get to use a importer, our uh, exporter rather. Ah, oh, it's an importer, so that's not what I want anyway. Just going to export into this guy that stuff, this stuff, fluoride dust, fluoride dust, but you are going to export water. So kind of solves my problem, but also kind of doesn't, and it's going to look really messy as well. Um, I might move you, actually, so you can be a bit more hidden. To there. Uh, it does mean we still need the wireless thing. Now he's getting water, um, so we might put... And does a stack upgrade work for water? Yes. <laughs> cool. And he's going to slowly make polonium again. And look, it's only a little bit messy. Alright, I'll finish whipping up the bits and pieces for this. And yeah, we'll, we'll get another ore miner going and we'll see how our processing is holding up. Got the stuff for a couple of ionite void miners, because why not? Um, yeah, got all the frequency modifiers and got a couple of these bandwidth ones as well. And yeah, that should craft us a nice one of these guys. And we're missing a couple of frames, which is to be expected. Because for some reason it's taken... No, that's not what we want. That's a frame. Power is not going to go there. That's a frame. That's a frame. That's going to be the item output. And that's going to be the power. So power here. Item output here. Uh, I do need to craft a couple of these flash memories and that should be fine. I don't think it's using any of the machines that making that big disk is trying to use. And we'll just go for the metallic ore miner, I think. I don't think we need gemstones or anything else. So metallic ore miners, we might cover it in. Nice. Let's set up another one of these dudes. Uh, well, we'll put this in here first. 
So gap of one, and one, two, three, four, five, and then this will go down. And oh, we got some grass in there. That's nice. And since we're a little bit short on loadable chunks, I actually need a couple of these. Chunk loading on. Power network. Power network. You just need flash memory. And then we just need to do the digger hole part. And this should be pretty good. Let's make sure these things are working. And yeah, there we go. Getting a bunch of ore out of him. And getting a bunch of ore out of him. Yeah, nice. This should be giving us a bunch more stuff. Let's see what's happening <laughs> at our ore processing now. Things are backing up. I mean, I feel like split could be having a negative impact here. There we go. And this should build up with a bunch of different types of stuff. And we may be at the point where we need another injecting factory to deal with what's coming through. These guys are coping. These should these are this should all be fine. Um, these shouldn't have any problems because they've been running at full speed before and we didn't run out of oxygen. In saying that, we could have quite a bit stored on this pipe, which means yeah, maybe we're slowly using more than we're making. And we're not gonna find out for a while, but I think it's about time we made. Yes, yeah, so we're getting jammed up on a couple of things here. And ore is building up in here, so we need another injecting factory. So I guess we kind of we need to repeat this process. Kind of we just need this whole setup. Ah, not this part. I guess we could have another level up here. Yeah, we'll have another one of these. We should be able to get like pipe stuff out of this. I suspect we're going to be running short on the stuff for making hydrogen chloride. But yeah, we're not keeping up with the ore processing at all. I might abandon trying to quadruple with this and we'll settle for just doing this because the whole process behind making hydrogen chloride I mean it could look kind of cool but it involves getting more of these big evaporation things um, getting more electrolytic separators getting more diffusers I mean it kind of seems like this guy's the hold up he doesn't even have full speed upgrades so you'll be making a bit more hydrogen chloride oh you're the main guy I guess we'll just eventually start running out of hydrogen, maybe. I mean, you seem fine. Maybe we we'll just get another chemical infuser. So you've got power, then you just need gas. And then you're making some hydrogen chloride. And we'll pump this upstairs, I think, to the next layer. So cool. So we could pipe this down here. But I think I want to come out the front of this guy. And yeah, it looks like it's going into this pipe. And we'll start another line of ore processing up here. And just a similar setup to this. I 
which is going to be interesting because I kind of need to be hooked into this chest. This kind of wants to be its own new ender chest so that both of them can pull out of it. So we've got a couple of ender chests and we need a new color of dye. Like a buzzy bee. And this is going to make a huge mess if I do this. Let's be ready for that. So, break you. Put you there. You're not going to hold all that stuff, but that's okay. You'll just import it from the system anyway. Yeah, he's working, so that's cool. And then we can use this chest, this ender chest up here to start a new line of all processing. Um, and I guess we want to do that. How much space does this take up? Like behind it for all it needs, which is... All it needs is power and that gas, which in this case was down underneath. Down underneath. Right, uh, decided to whip up a couple more of these. So we got the one full row and then repeating that same pattern from downstairs. Still not getting through all of it. Um, but in saying that, I only just put all the speed upgrades and stuff in these guys. So we got this pressurized tube. This should put gas in all of them. And I think I've set up all the sides so that... And actually we need a logistical sorter. Because that works better before. Redstone ignored. Single off because we want to stack around Robin on. Automatic on. And you should then. Ah, uh, you need to output at the front items. Cool. These guys will now be processing. Now we should be ending up with way more stuff <laughs> coming into our all chest. And hopefully we'll start getting through all this. Which, yeah, maybe not. So much ore, we've got zinc ore. Now I think actually, remember seeing in the patch notes that this now has an enrichment chamber recipe. Not that I'm probably going to use zinc for anything, but all right. So if we were to enrichment chamber this, we'd then end up with crushed zinc ore, and that just needs smelted. Yeah, all right. Um, this is going to jam up. I got an enriching factory here. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Let's add zinc ore. And yeah, there'll be a bit of zinc ore to process. We'll grab some. And we'll process zinc, I guess, in this guy, and that'll keep. That'll keep this one free for doing the other rules. We get a bunch of zinc that we could use for create stuff. Make brass. Yeah, I don't, again, I don't know if I'm going to get into any create. That might come in handy, depending on uh, how this all processing goes. And this is what I'm really interested in. So... We're at the limit of brine, so you can't create any more chlorine. Plenty of chlorine here. Hydrogen still full. Again, could be heap in, heaps in the pipe. Although, no. If this wasn't producing enough. Oh, it's 512. Okay, so this hydrogen tank is empty. So yeah, we might be having problems producing enough hydrogen here. Although we've got more hydrogen potentially happening on this side. That we could be... Connecting into this hydrogen. And we may as well. Um, because if we say that the top of this is an input, which it is. Otherwise I'm just dumping this hydrogen. And that's 
that's a waste. Bit messy, but there we go. Bit of extra hydrogen. Oh, that's very messy. And um, we can tidy that up a bit. Gee, yeah, we may need to get another evaporation plant going to produce enough stuff. Hey, this is quite a tidy setup. Um, obviously, uh, this bit down here is uh, not so much. But this is pretty cool. Um, things are keeping up. And you've got oxygen. You're still getting oxygen. Yeah. You're jammed up because... I never put you to auto eject. But you're working. You're working. You don't seem to be getting a lot. Wait, are you doing single? So s single is off. So this should be sending stacks. Why are you not sending all of this stuff? And it does seem like it's just this logistical sorter is not keeping up. We might be better going out of this guy into a, another ender chest. And then all of these guys could import from that ender chest. And then we don't have to worry about this situation. And we could also do like that. And eject items at the top as well. And that kind of helps. How come we haven't ran into that problem down here? Oh, we kind of are actually. I'll take that back. Okay. No, but we've run our power there. That's not ideal. Um, <laughs> I mean, your power could go underneath, right? No. Not at all. It's really how I've ran that crystallizer pipe. We can have this universal cable here. I can move this. Because we want some logistical transporter. Like that. Um, output at the top. And that should just help make sure we're extracting everything we can out of this guy. Which is a little bit messy, but it works. Very messy. I think, yeah, maybe going into ender chests would be better. Like just ending up with all these shards, maybe even just in the system, and then importing the shards straight into machines with refined storage. Hmm, could be how we handle this next. At least for the shards situation. Then we could just have a bunch of injecting factories in a certain place because they take so many different things that it gets quite messy. I guess I don't need that there anymore because it's coming in from the front. Alright, that's cool. It would be good to see some of this ore going down. I don't think we'd ever want to use these pulverizers for processing. They're pretty slow. And these guys are all going full bore. And I'm going to assume power generation is fine. Ooh, power generation is going down. Reasonably fast. Cool. So in this guy's going at full burn rate. He 
he's making 150,000 RF for tick, so he can't actually go any more. Nice, we're using more power than we're making. Cool, all right. Wow, that's good. Uh, still not sure if we are processing all the ore that's coming through. But we'll handle that next episode, and then I think we're also going to have to upgrade our nuclear power. Um, I might make them a bit bigger, because we should have the stuff for making more of these reactor casings. And we'll make a... maybe the biggest reactor. And why are there pillagers here? What on earth do you guys think you're doing? There's my key. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. We got ourselves some more ore processing going. Still don't know if I'm keeping up with how much ore that's coming in, but we're we're running low on power. Well, we're not running low on power. Well, if we didn't have big storage, we'd be running low on power. So uh, next episode, increasing our power generation to deal with these ores and probably a bit more ore processing as well. Might be time to give up on the quadrupling and maybe just settle for tripling, just so we can. No, oh, no, I might. We might work on like a refined storage, importing, exporting into the system type deal for for handling these ores, because otherwise it's getting you know very messy. But hey. It's getting pretty well, going pretty well. It's been Classic Duff. Keep watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.